Hello everyone, and welcome back to Track Yards. I am Stuart Foley, playing the role of Captain Foley today. But which Foley are you playing? Because you have a long history of Foley's from the bygone era to the future era, and you all look so similar, just with slightly different facial hair. Hmm. I got, got to say the mullet Foley is my favourite, though, in the 2650s. Oh, no, no. No, we took him out. We, 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 all the other Foley's and I yes. got together. I'll use the slingshot manoeuvre that we've now seen. To, oh, okay. It all comes full circle. Right. And who are you, sir? I'm just Sam. Plain, oh. simple Sam. There you go. All right. Well, today we're here to talk about the new uh, Picard Season 2 trailer. Um, we got a very good trailer. Mm -hmm. quite Jam packed. Lovely, and there are quite a few scenes of uh, Mr. Brent Spiner playing a character. Now, he was in Season 1 uh, as, as soon. Another soon. The, the the never mentioned retcon son, despite actual evidence on screen that Sung never had children. But oh well. Yeah. So who's he playing in this one is the discussion for today. And it's hard to say. I mean that they, they do they do look alike, all of them, through all of the times. Now it, it's fair to say he's not the same Sung. Just because the look wise, they try to make the original one, you know, gentle white hair, short scientist look. This this new guy is, you know, well, you, you, you gently joked about him in the live, looks like a, a, a drug addict. So that, it does. you know, big beard, a little bit older looking, and they're not trying to like hide the age, they're trying to let him do his thing, which as an actor, play a totally different role is what you want. Even if you're playing 19 songs, to play a, a down as luck song is interesting. I think it's fair to say this is the song from 2024, which is when the, the present day time travel, maybe even heist old stuff is. So it's the youngest song, well before all the, the fanciness of time, of, uh, of all things. Although in Enterprise, obviously, we see a song and, and he's in his, what, 60s, so it's still, there isn't, the, you know, there's only maybe like five songs back, four songs back, you know? As you were talking there, I came to a realization. This is 2024, if it is him, okay? The eugenics wars just ended in 1996. We, oh, we all remember, Stuart. You have to tell us. I, I, I know. Some people got flashed from men in, men in black things. I don't remember. Hey, Will Smith is busy um, that year. <laughs> but in the trailer, we see Q give him a blue vial. Now, we were speculating what that vial might be in the live. Uh, we were talking about this. But could it be that it's an augment virus? And this sets him on a path to start studying that, which leads to what we, the guy we see in Enterprise. Working on augments. I mean, that obviously generates a ton of questions as well. I mean, Q is not known to give physical items to people as hints. He he goes, moves moves people in reality to tell them, show them things. He doesn't give them stuff. But like we've speculated, he might have lost his powers or be very limited in how he can help in this one. 100%, 100%. But then is this him helping to alter the past back or being a, a trickster? Because... I, you know, it would be a shame to say that in the grand scheme of the universe that it's the Q and our Q that is the one that gave the first Sung the inspiration to augment, which then led to Data. That feels icky to me as an unnecessary retcon. So I'm hoping it's part of the universe has been altered vibe. But obviously, if they're traveling back to the point it got changed, you know, if, if Picard jumps five years after history's changed, then history's still changed, which is... Again, the 20th century guys would come fix that. The 31st century guys should come fix that. They all have time travel every day of their lives. So this song would have to be pre-change, really, for the story to make sense. This is doing multiple time jumps, which, I mean, we may have a scene where they can't trace when it was changed, where they're just, like, trying to follow time travelers that are affecting things that might be part of the subplot. But then is this to, to bring things back into place? Is this to, to be, like I said, feel icky if he's the reason for Sung? It, it would, um, but, I mean, the blue vial isn't very big, so it's not like it's anything like... it could Like I, like I speculated in the live, it could be a drug. It could be a way to coerce him to help us, or to help our protagonists complete their goal. Um, and he was unwilling to, but Q was like, you know, this is what you want. Do you want to help us? Yeah, or even the cure to his drug addiction. You know, this version of Methridian will, you know, be a, set you up forever. You know, etc. Because he does look a bit wide, does look a bit on the ropes. We do see the same Brent Spiner character in a lab with an apparent business card of some kind. So he'll be, you know, in the story in some other ways. 
which when I went back and watched that scene, it, it is an idic. When he's moving the card around, it looks like a stylized idic, and we do see a Vulcan giving a kid a mind melt. So I think he might be working with the Romulans or Vulcans at some point. We're not sure what they are. They're probably Vulcans because there's a Vulcan ship in the. Go check out our live review of the trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already. Because it would be kind of interesting if this is simply a temporal cold war story which again links to canon that a faction on temporal cold war which at this point is still fighting and they're vulcans even or romulans etc they go back change the past everything's changed i mean what we saw when a faction did that in enterprise and then daniels is with archer in the future and uh no none of our stuff exists so you could you can overwrite some versions of the future sometimes sometimes it takes q to send him back Although then the road not travelled is very personal to Picard, so if 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 this all has nothing to do with Picard, then okay. But do we want him in the centre? You know, do we want it? You know, is that child being mind melded? Is that Picard? You know, we know he's now a fascist leader in the new version. I think it is Picard because we see the other boy. He looks like his uh, his brother. My vibe, uh, Robert. So it, it's it's interwoven for sure, and this Brendan Sunny from the present. Clearly works in some sort of lab. I would kind of like if he's part of the Mars, you know, Mars whatnot. Because maybe it'd be kind of cute if the original songs were into robotics, but like modern day robotics. <laughs> and then they yeah. swapped augments when the, you know, just father and sons have different ideas. And then it goes back to, that'd be, I think, kind of cute. And, and you know, link in. It's just going to be another younger soon, unfortunately. Oh, young. <laughs> His 70s, you 80s, I mean. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but it's nice to see how much is he going to be in it though that's the question because the other song was in obviously flash uh, dreams as data briefly very very briefly and then two episodes as a song mm, I never really thought about that I think he's not going to play a very big part I think he'll be a major plot point for, for something but not be in it too much I don't think it's great to see Brent Spiner back uh, great great guy we love to talk to him every time we see him so um, let's add another Star Trek character to your lineup. He's going to be rivaling Jeffrey Combs soon. And it all the same last name, pretty much. <laughs> all the same character, pretty much. Hopefully we'll see a version of maybe, you know, what another thing we know would be nice. You know, we, we did hear from uh, uh, John Delancey via a cameo portion to released saying he did get to work with Data and Picard in the same scene. And I'm, and I'm sure they improved their digital de-aging. I mean, you know, Delancey's known as Brent for his entire life, not as Data. You know, most actors don't tend to use character names when they talk to their friends or actor colleagues. It's somewhat disrespectful to use a character name over a real name because it's like, we, we want to do it as fans. But. I could see John Delancey doing that to be funny. Yeah, I was, I was in a scene with Picard and Data and we only really meant like Patrick Stewart and Brent Spiner. Possibly. But I think maybe we're still going to get a de -aged Data just early, like TNG Data and then, you know, because it's time travel. Time travel do stuff. I mean, come on, Data, why would Data be dead in the alternate universe? I mean, talk about nightmare to have data be a fascist evil man, you know, law like, or even law. Hey, don't even have data because maybe they say we can't bring data back, but we can bring law back, who's in this alternate universe, and he's like one of the best. I, I think I solved it. There you go. I would say evil law, but that's an oxymoron. Law, <laughs> <laughs> law is in this universe. He's doing bad things, and data gets to be de-aged, but differently because it's not. We're not going to judge in the same way. Cause it's just you know, not data's haircut. Then I think data, that's way outside the box, though. But data's then data's still dead. It can still be law, and it'd be and as an actor to have one in shaved face data or law, and then one as a beard. That's that helps the contrast factor of the audience not putting two and two together. But yeah, I can imagine we might get a flashback or might get in the universe scene where Jerry like walks up and there's law, and it's like data. No, I'm law, and I'm the third leader of the Federation Reich, and it's like oh god, god damn. But I still have no flotation device. Except when I am. Depends what movie I'm yeah. <laughs> On that note, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, guys, comment down below and let us know what you think about Brett Spiner in this uh, uh, season. What's he going to be playing? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about what we've talked about? Let us know. Comment and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to make don't miss our lives. Don't forget to click the notification bell icon so you don't miss them. There we go. And if you want to support what we do on a monthly, weekly, or daily basis, then join us in those lives in Super Chat, if you can, or monthly via the Patreon or pay or, or uh, join the channel, sorry. Either way, either monthly, both help, or donate anytime you want on PayPal at trekyards.hotmail.com. That's the PayPal. Use it. Say hi. 
send a message or an email, same thing, tregor.hotmail.com, and just keep watching, keep enjoying, and we'll see you next time. So, yeah, so until next time, he is Sam. Plain, simple Sam. I don't remember what Foley were, I'll be honest, because there's so many you could be. I don't think we settled on one. I'm just Stuart Foley, playing the role of Captain Foley today. Bye, guys. Or is he evil? <laughs> Bye, guys.